Hey there, viewers. In this video, we're diving into the wiring connections of a car's starter circuit. Understanding how these connections work can help you troubleshoot starting issues. Now, the starting system includes several essential components, such as starter motor, starter solenoid, starter relay, starter fuse, ignition switch, and neutral safety switch. We'll discuss the wiring connections for each component one by one. So, let's get started with the starter solenoid. The starter solenoid acts like a switch, connecting the starter motor to the battery. It's usually mounted directly on the starter motor. The solenoid has three terminals, a battery terminal connected to the battery, a starter terminal that powers the starter motor, and a control terminal connected to the starter relay. Here's how it works. When you turn the ignition switch to the start position, a small electrical current flows to the control terminal of the solenoid. This action energizes the solenoid, which then closes a pair of heavy-duty contacts inside. Once the contacts close, a large electric current is relayed directly from the battery to the starter motor through the starter terminal. This powers the starter motor, which cranks the engine. All right, now let's talk about the starter motor itself. The starter motor has two terminals. The power terminal, this is directly connected to the starter terminal on the solenoid. The ground terminal, this is grounded to the vehicle's chassis or engine block. Since the other terminal of the battery is also grounded, this completes the electrical circuit. All right, now let's talk about the control circuit of the starter system. But before we dive in, if you found this video helpful and want to see more wiring diagram videos for different sensors or other car components, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel. Also, hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Now, let's start with the fuse, an essential component of the starter control circuit. The fuse serves as a safeguard, protecting the starter circuit from electrical overloads or short circuits. It's positioned between the battery and the ignition switch, ensuring that any surge in current doesn't damage the delicate components of the system. If the fuse blows, the entire starter system will stop functioning, so always check the fuse first if you're troubleshooting a no-start issue. Next up is the ignition switch, the place where it all begins. When you turn the key to the start position, the ignition switch sends an electrical signal to the starter relay coil. This signal activates the relay, causing it to close its primary contact. All right, now let's talk about the starter relay, an essential bridge between the battery and the starter solenoid. Its primary job is to ensure that the high current needed to engage the starter solenoid doesn't flow directly through the ignition switch. This protects the switch and keeps the system safe. The starter relay has four terminals, each with a specific function. 85 and 86 pins. These are for the relay coil supply. When energized by the ignition switch, they create the magnetic field that activates the relay. 30 and 87 pins. These are for the switch. Pin 30 is connected to the battery and pin 87 directs the current to the starter solenoid. Now, let's talk about the ECU's role in the starter control circuit. ECU extends the ground connection to the relay coil, completing the circuit. But it doesn't stop there. The ECU carefully monitors signals from other components, like the neutral safety switch and other vital sensors or safety checks. If the ECU determines all conditions are met, it grounds the relay coil. This activates the relay, allowing power to flow from the battery to the starter solenoid, and ultimately to the starter motor itself. Finally, let's talk about the neutral safety switch, a critical safety feature in the starter system. The neutral safety switch ensures the starter won't engage unless your vehicle is in neutral or park. This is a crucial safeguard to prevent accidental starting while the vehicle is in gear.